little time on what's one with Enoch. And today, I believe somebody's going to be blessed by this short message from the throne of grace. The Lord has asked me to ask you another question in this special edition. And as we go together, I believe you're going to be blessed. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, thank you once again. What a privilege to be able to talk to your people about you. It is the best thing that can ever happen to anybody to talk about God. Thank you for privilege of knowing you, of hearing from you. Lord, everyone that will hear, let them be blessed by this short video in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayer. There is no holy as the Lord. There is none beside Him. Oh, neither is there any rock like our God. There is none. Holy as the Lord, holy as the Lord, there is no holy as the Lord, as the Lord, there is no beside thee, beside thee, neither is there a any rock like our God, there is none holy as the Lord. Lord, there is none holy as thou art. You are everything to us. Take up to country in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Now, on this edition of Lux Monday, the Lord said I should ask you a question. For or true? This question is very important to God. The things you think you are doing for God, are you doing it for yourself? Or oh, God is doing it through you? You can be frank with yourself. Because by being able to answer this question, you are not only going to help yourself, but you are also going to help everybody around you. Particularly if you are a minister of the gospel. The ministry you are occupying, is it out of a call from God or out of necessity? Is it that when everything failed, you now decided that okay, the only thing that the only business that can be sustained or that can sustain you is to run a church? Is that the reason why you are what you are doing? Are you leading God's people astray? Now it's very important we trash this out. God is much more interested in what you do for Him and not what you do for yourself. So it is what God does through you that matters to God, not what you get through God. We need to know that. Now, we are all laborers in this fine year, but we are laboring for different things. Some people are laboring for the offerings and the tithes and whatever comes in from the people. Some people are so passionate about the people that the money and the offerings are not important to them. I've seen pastors that empty the parts of the church because church members have needs. And I've seen pastors and churches that keep the money and leave the church members to drown. Well, everybody knows why he or she is there, but God is asking me to ask you, for or true, is God moving through you or you are using God for yourself? Are you doing it for profit offerings or for personal gains of prosperity? There's nothing we do that doesn't have this reward of profit. People are also watching. Are we competing with one another? How smart one another, even in the, in the gospel? Are we serving the same Father? Are we having the same God? Now, all these questions need to be answered by those who are in position to lead other people because. If you cannot walk with God, your work for God is useless. And the, whole, the best way God can do anything through you is when you are in a world, W-A-L-K, with Him. 
any work W-O-R-K you do for God is useless if you don't have a work W-E-L-K with God and that's why God wants everybody to be closer to the Holy Spirit He wants us to, you know, to manage our relationship with Him in such a way that others will be attracted to Him and it's very important we do that so whatever you are doing are you doing it for His glory? you are doing it for your own glorification uh, when you listen to some pastors and the way they post and what they talk about you wonder if there's only spirit of what they are doing and that's why some pastors have been so humble and have not seen anything as greater or better than what God is going to give for what they are doing God is much more interested in what it does through you more than what you gain from using this name for merchandise. So lot of people have found out that the name of God of Jesus Christ is the best brand they can sell to gather people together and get money from them. So what? So what happens after that? So what we're trying to say in essence is this. Every item you own or you buy for a purpose, if the item does not fulfill the purpose for which you have bought it, you either trash the item or that in some way. Every item is important to you as long as it gives you the service or services with which you bought it originally. And if the equipment or the device or whatever is no longer useful, what do you do? You trash it. You don't let God trash you. Don't forget the, Bible, the story in the Bible where God said, spoke about a fig tree, Jesus Christ said, and the gardener said, if I come back another year and this thing has not produced fruit, and you would have down. Are you bearing fruit for God or fruit for yourself? So is it about for or true? God is asking because He knows but He wants us also to answer the question. God bless you.